Nobles and guests, my name is Edmund Lim, and I have the pleasure to serve as the installing officer this evening for the install installation of the Saya Taiban for the ensuing shrine year. Let's just Sir Richard Marlowe, past both and take, and let's just Sir John Bermudez have been selected to act as the installing marshals. And the last sir, Ron Erickson, will be the installing chaplain. No be installing marshals. Arrange the officers elected appoint and appointed for installation. Illustrious installing officer, the officers are elected or appointed to serve, who have been elected or appointed to serve Asaya Shriners for the ensuing Shrine year, are without and are prepared for installation. No boy installing marshal, you will retire and conduct into the Shrine room the Asaya Shriners officers elected and appointed for installation into this for the ensuing shrine year. Illustrious installing officer, I have the pleasure to present these divan officers who have been elected or appointed to serve for the Asaya Shrine for the ensuing Shrine year. No man should ever enter upon any great or important undertaking without first invoking the blessing of God. Let's just installing chaplain. 
please lead us in an old invocation. Great architect and ruler of the universe, we reverently invoke the blessing at this time. Grant us thine aid in our present undertaking that all may do shall be done. With an eye single to thy service and to the good of the fraternity. May those who are now about endued with wisdom help them to instruct the nobility wisely and may they be continually guided by the unerring counsel which thou hast given in the great book of nature and revelation. May brotherly love, relief, and truth always prevail among the nobility of Asaya Shriners. May they be impressed with the compensation of their duty to thee and to each other, that Asaya Shriners may be the means of lasting good in our community. And to thee we shall ascribe all the honor and glory. Amen. Noble installing marshals, you will present the captain of the guard and the outer guard. 